The King's Promise. Once there was a king who had three daughters. One day, the king said, "I'm going to the market. You may each ask for one gift." The first daughter asked for jewels. The second asked for a silk dress. Please, may I have a sweet, juicy grape? Asked the youngest. At the market, the king bought the jewels and the dress. He searched for grapes, but no one had any to sell. This made the king sad. He loved his youngest daughter most of all and wanted to please her. A kind old man saw the king's sorrow. Why are you so sad? asked the old man. After the king explained his problem, the old man said, "Go to the vineyard." As the king came near the vineyard, he saw a big white bear guarding the gate. "May I have a grape, please?" asked the king nervously. "Yes," said the bear. But in return, you must give me the first thing you see when you arrive home. The king agreed and went on his way. When the king arrived home, his youngest daughter ran toward him. The king remembered what he promised the bear. He was horrified. All of his daughters loved their gifts, but the king was sad. When the bear came to the palace the next day, the king wept. "Please don't take my daughter away," he begged. "Your daughter is mine now," said the bear. "She will be my wife and live in my castle." "I'm so very sorry," the king said to his youngest daughter. The bear locked the girl in his castle. There were no lights. She could not see anything. Her life was sad and dark. One day, the king came to visit her at the castle. The bear does not allow any light in the castle, she told her father. I'm sorry. I cannot take you away, wept the king. But I will bring you light, he whispered. The next week, the king secretly brought his daughter matches. "Take these and light them while the bear sleeps," said the king. That night, the king's daughter struck a match. She looked over at the sleeping bear. "There's something different about him," she thought. She gasped when she saw that it was not the bear at all. A handsome prince was sleeping in his place. The prince awoke and said, "I have been under a wicked spell for many years. Your light has saved me. I am myself again." "Thank you, my wife. You are a blessing for me," said the prince. Together, they went to the king and told him the good news. They were all glad that the king had kept his promise.